Hello, Northeast Baptist Hospital. I'm Roger Calhoun, your hospital compliance officer, and I am here with Michelle Miller, our chief human resource officer, Adrian Santian, our clinical manager for administration services, and Joyce Price is our clinical manager for in intermediate care services. We're here today as part of our town hall presentations. Um, today we're going to discuss how some of the COVID CMS related waivers and executive orders have impacted us here in the hospital. Um, while we could go into many different examples um, to talk about those things, today we're going to focus on three different areas, um, donations to the hospital, um, hospital space use, and workforce surge management. Uh, the first topic that we're going to talk about is donations. Um, so in general, our policy requires before we receive a donation from anybody that we have to give them written notice that we are not a tax exempt organization and their do donation will not be, uh, they're not able to claim that as an exemption on their taxes. Um, the other thing to think about when we're receiving donations is for physicians, when they donate to us or some other referral source wants to give us a donation, we actually have to have a written contract and agreement in place before we can receive that donation. Uh, with the COVID pandemic, we received a waiver such that we do not have to follow those two things as long as we do um, documentation of the donation um, and then also send a thank you letter to the, donator, to the donor um, to memorialize the donation. Um, and I've got Adrian here that's going to talk more specifically about what we did with donations, how we received those, um, and he can tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, the uh, 